This is a, uh, you could do it with either chicken or beef. And it's also got chorizo in it, bacon bits, uh, garlic, white wine, green peppers. I'm using dehydrated green peppers. You can use fresh. It's got tomato paste, also tomatoes with green chilies. It's got onions, pesto, uh, red pepper flakes, and uh, beef broth. And I'm actually using beef, so, which is why I'm using the beef broth. If you're going to use chicken, make sure you use uh, chicken broth. Everything else will stay the same. So the only difference is if you're using beef, use beef broth. If you're using chicken, use chicken broth. It's also got rice in it. So we'll get ready to go over this and I had to make some notes because it uh, seems like every time I make these videos I always forget ingredients. <laughs> Anyways, you're going to start out with a pan on about medium heat with some olive oil and then you're going to cut up one or two onions, put them in the oil until the onions are softened. Okay, you're going to want to take and turn the onions multiple times. Usually while I'm doing preparing the onions, I go ahead and I get the meat ready. So I get everything into bite-sized pieces, get it ready to go. The bacon bits are already ready to go also. So, But when your onions look like they are starting to get uh, done, so I wait until they just start to brown. You kind of see how they are here. And then I go ahead and do the garlic. So next thing you want to do, you're going to want to do, and this is kind of dependent on your taste, you want to do two to three cloves of garlic or two to three tablespoons of garlic powder. If you use real garlic or garlic cloves, minced cloves, you want to leave it on the heat for about one or two minutes. If you do the garlic powder, you can go ahead and do the next step immediately. So I'm going to do garlic powder. It's just what I have on hand. I'm going to do three tablespoons. There's three tablespoons of garlic powder. If you're using garlic cloves, you want to go ahead and turn the heat up just enough for those to brown a little bit. If you're using garlic powder like I am, just stir it up and continue on with the recipe. Next, you're going to add all of the meat. So that is going to be the bacon bits, the chorizo, and also the steak. Next thing you want to do is if you got fresh brown or fresh bell peppers, add it. I'm actually using some dehydrated bell peppers. I didn't have time to rehydrate them because they're dehydrated. I'm not going to add as much. But you want to add about um, one whole bell pepper. I'm going to add a little bit more oil. I know it's getting dry. You're going to also turn the heat up some. You want this meat to actually brown. It doesn't have to be all the way done, but it does need to brown. I'm going to give that a couple minutes. Okay, you can actually see, I hope, that the steaks are starting to brown and also the chorizo is too. You don't have to cook the steak all the way or the chorizo because it's going to simmer and that's when it will finish doing so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add my two cups. This is jasmine rice. You want usually some sort of a, you know, whatever rice you use. I don't, I think that white rice does better than brown rice in this recipe. We are also going to add three cups. A beef broth if you're using chicken you're going to use three cups of chicken broth so 
You're also going to want to do a half cup of the white wine. Give that a quick stir. You're also going to want to go ahead and do your tomatoes and your tomato paste. Okay, adding the tomatoes. Adding tomato paste. I forgot to add the uh, crushed red pepper was supposed to have been done back when we did the uh, green bell peppers. Ooh, I had way too much. Probably, I don't know what that is, maybe a, a tablespoon. All right, three tablespoons of pesto. There's one. There's two. There is three. I'm going to go ahead and get all this stirred up. Now this is actually a very large cast iron pan. Not the largest one that I have, but it's pretty large. Once you think that you've got this stirred up well, we're going to reduce the heat and let it simmer covered. So next thing you want to do, you want to turn this down kind of a low heat. I'm actually about uh, between low and number two on my stove. I don't know what that would be on yours. Then I'm going to take some aluminum foil and cover the top of this. If you have a lid that will cover the top, that's even better. Uh, a pizza pan will work. I've used pizza pans in the past, but aluminum foil is generally what I use now. So, just gonna take some aluminum foil, cover this up. Next thing you're gonna do, is set a timer. I believe it is. Uh, it's about 20 minutes. You're gonna to want to check this a couple of times. And make sure that it doesn't dry out because the rice is going to soak up a lot of that moisture. I'm going to give it a stir. The consistency of this right now is kind of how it would normally look. You don't want it to be too much liquid but you don't want it to be too dry. If the rice is done, then the dish is done. If the rice isn't done, I need to add some more liquid and continue to let it cook. And the rice is done. So I shut the heat off, but I'm gonna remove it from the burner, which also needs cleaned up. You're gonna cover it. Cover it, remove it from the heat, wait five minutes. Then you can actually take and serve it. All right, so now that our five minutes has passed that we let it just kind of like set, I'm gonna go ahead and uncover it. That is what we finally look like. That looks much better. Go ahead and scoop some out onto a plate. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.